What's going on guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the US versus UK Domino's. I've really been enjoying these food comparison reactions so far and I think what stood out to me the most is the fact that the ingredient lists in the UK tend to be so much cleaner than what you'll find in the fast food in America. And the portion sizes in the UK also tend to be much smaller, especially the sides and the drinks, than what you'll find in the US. I mean, the drinks especially, if I'm not mistaken, it was like in one of those videos I watched, uh, a large drink in the UK was basically like a small in the US. It's pretty ridiculous. But on top of that, you know, there was obviously some differences in the different types of food you had. For example, it seems like the KFC didn't have mashed potatoes and gravy in every single location. You didn't really have biscuits. Uh, you know, there was just different types of food in each country that kind of gives you an idea of probably what the local population in those countries tend to like the most. Uh, so anyways, guys, I came across this video, US versus UK Domino's, and I thought this would be a really interesting one to do because unlike McDonald's and KFC, I've actually ate Domino's, uh, you know, on a semi-regular basis, you know, for a long time. I mean, I don't eat it all the time, but this is still, if you want to call it a fast food place, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's a popular pizza chain, but I still eat this place on every once in a while. You know, if I like it better than the other pizza chains, you know, I'd rather have, I'd rather go to an actual, you know, a pizza parlor, so to speak, or an Italian restaurant to get pizza or make a pizza at home. But when I don't do that and we go get pizza to chain, it's generally Domino's. Um, I think it's better than, you know, all the others, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, whatnot. Uh, at least it is around here. So, um, I thought this would be a really interesting one to do, considering this is one I actually have more uh, more experience with uh, recently. So anyways, guys, let's just go ahead and check out what the differences are between a US versus a UK Domino's. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the The boxes look Domino's different. Pizza in the UK hmm. and the US. This is Food Wars. This is the smallest pizza you can get in the UK. It's called an individual, and it measures seven inches across. Seven our inches? Really? That is a small one. I think ours is what, 10? Smallest is, believe it or not, the small. Here it is, and it measures in diameter 10 inches. Yeah, wow. The next size up seven. is a small. That's, that's tiny. Which measures 9.5 inches. Next size up for the US medium. is a medium, which is 12 inches. 12 inches, yeah. This is 11.5 inches. Okay, this is interesting. I already noticed that you got the garlic butter on the crust here. I think this is, they're both cheese pizzas, right? And this one has no garlic butter, which is, unless you ask for it without it here in America, you t they, they always put it on. Uh, you have to request not to have it in Northern. And the interesting thing is, I've seen the ingredients ingredient list i believe on this garlic butter stuff and it's horrible uh so maybe that's why it's not in the uk or i don't know for sure if they don't have it but hmm. well i'm starving hey i grabbed the slice <laughs> i'm starving this pizza smells so good i skip breakfast next pizza Next up for the U.S. is our large, inch. which is a 14-inch diameter. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> this is so interesting to me, though. Like, I mean, this is a little bit smaller. It's not that much smaller. I mean, 13.5. But, like, the interesting thing to me is the 0.5-inch diameters that seem to be happening on every one of these pizzas in the U.K. What was it? It was 11.5 for the medium, 9.5 for the small. I think it was a seven. I think it was seven inches for the for the personal. Is that what they called it? We, I don't think we really have a personal here. But that's that's interesting. I wonder what why that is. Why would they? I mean, it's the same chain. Obviously, there's some differences. But what would be the reason for having just not evening? You know, the 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 uh, diameters out. Considering, I mean, I would guess you would use the same types of. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Pizza trays to cook cook on. So, well, I don't know. Anyway, continue. What's with the way they cut your large pizza, Harry? It's ridiculous. Look at that. And not mm. to be outdone, 
the US has one more size, the extra large, diameter 16 inches. Bro. Look at that puddle of grease. <laughs> oh, look at the size of this thing. Now a 2.5 inch difference might not sound like a lot, but if you factor that into the surface area, it's actually 58 square inches wider than the UK's largest pizza. Oh, you guys don't have an extra large. Okay, okay, I didn't know that. Obviously I didn't know that. But <laughs> um, hmm. Which is almost a third of an increase. That is quite a bit. Am I looking at this right? Is it supposed to be six slices? It's six slices, that can't be right. Six slices for a extra large pizza? Yeah, because it's supposed to be folded, folded, if, like kind of like a, I think it's supposed to kind of be like a New York style pizza where you, you know, you grab a slice off the street and you, and it's always known that you fold the pizza to eat it. And so that's what I'm guessing they're probably doing here. I know they have something called Brooklyn. I don't know if they're going to talk about that, but that is definitely supposed to be a uh, kind of representative of a New York pizza. Um, I don't know if you guys have Brooklyn in the UK. Maybe, maybe they'll talk about that. Look at the size of these slices. In the US, at a Domino's, the extra large pizza will cost you a very reasonable $13.99. Mm -hmm. mm. It's about probably like that, roughly. That is 201 square inches, which breaks down to roughly seven cents an inch. Nice. <laughs> um, I don't know, let's see, I think it's, yeah, you get, uh, oh man, what was it? Um, here it was, uh, last time I went to Domino's, it was, I think it was seven ninety nine for a large carry out. And I think you can get two medium, two topping for five ninety nine each. So that's like what, uh, two medium for $12, two topping. Now, shockingly, $13.99 will only get you a small pizza in the UK. A small pizza is 9.5 inches across and that gives it a surface area of 71 square inches. Guys, oh my goodness. We finally found something food-wise that's cheaper in the US by a lot. $13.99 will get you that seven inch small. We can get, oh my goodness, that, that almost gets two largest, two large two topping. Not quite, but two large two topping would be 16. And so if it's 14, he said all you could get was a, okay, maybe it was less than four. I'm guessing it was, he's saying you couldn't get more than that. So it's probably like 10 or something like that. Okay. Now, if you divide the $13.69 price tag by the 71, $13.69, that you're actually paying 19 cents per square inch. $13.69 for a small? Wow. That's shocking to me. That, that, that really is shocking. I didn't expect that. Okay. Ultimately, it means that if you went into a US and a UK Domino's with $13.99 to spend, you'd be able to get more than double the pizza for your money in the US store. Wow, that's crazy. Let's compare large cheese that pizzas is. in the two countries. This is what a UK large cheese looks like. And this is what a large, properly cut Domino's cheese pizza looks like in the US. It's cut into 10 pieces. Okay, this looks way different, man. Okay, what, what is it? Like, what? It seems like they're skimping out on the cheese a lot here. And they're charging you guys a lot more for it. Hmm, that's really interesting. I mean, look at the difference here. This is a lot of cheese compared to that. I'm guessing the calorie count is going to be crazy, the difference. <laughs> um, but, you know, one thing I wanted to mention before we continue is the fact that, like I was saying, that you could get double the pizza, maybe even maybe even borderline triple the pizza, I'm not sure, for the same price. And this is the first time I've really seen almost anything. I've, I've seen a couple of grocery store videos at this point. I've seen a couple of these types of uh, videos. I can't remember if they talked about price on those, though on the last couple. But anyway, like everything I've seen food related in the UK when I found out the price, it was almost always way cheaper. But all of a sudden you get to Domino's and it's like, it's way cheaper. I have heard that, that grocery stores are eating in is cheaper in the UK, but fast food 
tight food or eating out is much cheaper in the US. Maybe there's something to that. Maybe that's what this is. Okay, let's continue. Fully cut Domino's cheese pizza looks like in the US. It's cut into 10 pieces and each slice contains 176 calories. That means that in total, the pizza in the UK is 1,760 calories. Instead of 10, we got eight slices. That means each slice is roughly 280 calories, which makes the whole pizza 2,240 calories. And according to the thing that was written for me, that is almost 480 calories more than the UK large. But why is that exactly? Well, let's see if we can get any clues from Well, it's easy to see, in my opinion. I mean, it's a little smaller, but the main reason has got to be uh, no garlic butter. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're including that, but uh, it just looks like so much less cheese. The ingredients. Oh, here we go. Let's still see the ingredients. Let's start with the foundation of any pizza, which is the dough. In the UK, the dough is made of wheat flour, mm -hmm. a wheat and milk premix, rapeseed oil, water, and yeast. Yes, but here in the US, our dough is made of Enriched flour, wheat, oh God, I hate reading this stuff. Enriched flour, which is wheat flour, iron, <laughs> thiamine, mononitrate, niacin, riboflavin, and folic acid, water, soybean oil, and it contains less than 2% of the following. Sugar, salt, whey, maltodextrin, dextrose, dough conditioners, such as sodium, stereol, lactolate, I don't know, it's on the screen, you read it out loud. Enzymes, calcium sulfate, Absorbic acid, calcium phosphate, L-cysteine, good for hangovers, I hear. Yeast and cornmeal. Why? Again. I've said this in the previous other two videos. It doesn't make any sense. If the UK can literally do this, why does the US have to do this? It does not make any sense. Just use flour that's not, that you don't need to enrich. That would take off part of all those, those vitamins you got to add back in, but it's more than that. It's like... Dough conditioners? The UK? I mean, it does seem to... It, it looks different. I know it looks different. There, are, There's obviously a difference. Uh, this looks... This looks fluffier. It looks fluffier. It looks, like, cheesier. But the cheese has nothing to do with this. But the crust looks fluffier. Maybe it has something to do with the dough conditioner? I don't know. But, like, it just doesn't make sense. I like the idea of less is more when it comes to ingredients. You know? Uh, it, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why are we adding cornmeal? What? So th this tells me that if I was to eat a Domino's pizza in the UK, it would be completely different. I, I probably wouldn't even recognize it because it, I'm guessing the cornmeal gives the crust a more gritty texture here. Uh, you know, obviously I know that they use cornmeal here in America to, um, to press out the dough to 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 kind of shape it into the you know before they put toppings on it um because it you know it makes it easy to move around but i didn't know they actually put cornmeal in the dough too anyway let's continue uh yeah much different a lot more chemicals who saw that coming <laughs> <laughs> not oh, me cheese. domino's in the uk refers to its cheese simply as mozzarella and it's mostly because the ingredients are just that and in the U.S., Domino's doesn't, possibly can't, call their cheese mozzarella. Instead, they refer to it as pizza cheese. So, the Domino's in the U.S.'s pizza cheese has the following ingredients. Part <laughs> skimmed mozzarella cheese, okay, which is pasteurized milk, cultures, salt, enzymes, modified food starch, cellulose, cellulose, non-fat milk, whey protein concentrate, natural flavors, and sodium proponiate. Why? Why? Like it doesn't even make sense. Why? I don't know about you guys in the in the in the UK, but in here in America, most states you can't even this is off top. You can't even buy unpasteurized dairy products, especially milk, and that's probably why it says pasteurized milk and then it adds all this stuff. Here, I'm guessing the UK maybe you can. Now I can get raw milk from a local farm, but I couldn't buy it in a store and. Generally speaking, most states, if you want to buy raw milk and you want to kind of skirt the rules, you you literally have to buy it as it has to be labeled as pet milk. It's so ridiculous, but um, but yeah, uh, this is again, it just it doesn't make sense to me. Why? 
Why does it take so many more ingredients? Even though not all of these ingredients are actually bad. I mean, I mean, I mean, well, <laughs> I would prefer not to consume them, let's say for most of these. Like I'd prefer not to have modified food starch, cellulose, added non-fat milk, added like, I mean, even though non-fat, you know what I'm saying. Whey protein concentrate, natural flavors. I mean, like sodium propionate. I don't even know what that is. I generally know what a lot of these ingredients are, but I don't really know what sodium propionate is, but all right. Propionate. Propionate. Now let's look at the pepperoni. Most of the ingredients in US and UK pepperoni are actually pretty similar. Mm. They both contain pork, salt, dextrose, spices, sodium nitrite, citric acid, flavorings, and starter culture. Ah, you guys have sodium nitrite in your pepperoni. That's the first more, what I'd say, chemically, like, that's something I prefer not to have in my body when I can help it. Obviously, I eat it because I get Domino's on occasion. But, for example, if you get bacon in the store, it comes with sodium nitrite or sodium nitrate. And uh, I generally get my bacon, you know, uncured from a local farmer, which is delicious. Um, so I don't usually consume too much of it. Uh, but I'm just saying, this is interesting. It's the first time I've seen this. And flavoring is actually the first time I've seen flavorings in the UK. Hmm. I can't believe it's taken me this long, though, to see that in all the ingredient lists I've looked at so far. I mean, not not crazy amounts, but I've looked at enough to where it's kind of uh, surprising it's taken me this long to actually see something like this and the word flavorings in an ingredient list. So good for you guys that it doesn't seem to pop up very often at all compared to us. You know, the only difference is that our pepperoni contains beef. Also, preservatives, butyhydrate, hydrolazinase, and butyhydrolate, blah, 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 BHA, and BHT. I can't pronounce oh. them. They're bad. Now, like, seriously, these are bad. You don't want those. You don't want those. Um, why, 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 why do we have to... It turns out BHA and BHT are actually subject to restrictions in the European Union. They should be. And can't be added to foods such as pepperoni. This might be because studies have shown that BHA can cause tumors in rats and is therefore reasonably anticipated to be a carcinogen in humans. Let's just add it to our food, guys, in America. This is so wonderful. Let's just do it, man. It'll make the pepperonis last longer. They might even taste a little bit better. Guys. As I watch these videos, especially like these types of videos right here, I really get disgusted. I, I, I do. I mean, it's just, it doesn't make sense why we have to be poisoned. Some people are okay with, you know, putting stuff like that in their bodies. And then I guess I am because I accept it to a certain extent. Granted, I don't eat Domino's that often. Don't let me, don't let me fool you. I don't, I, I don't, like when I said I eat Domino's recently, it doesn't mean that I eat Domino's like every week or something. No, I mean like, I might have Domino's once every two or three months. It's not something I do all the time. And so I think that's no big deal. It's one, you know, it's, it's once in a, every once in a while thing. But the fact is, I shouldn't have to worry about it. We shouldn't have to worry about having stuff like that, BHA, BHT in our food. It just shouldn't be a thing, man. You guys are lucky, definitely in that regard, that, you know, you don't have to worry about the worst of the worst uh, chemicals in your food. It's been removed. Oh well, I'm gonna die doing what I love. <laughs> Eating banned chemicals. Mmm. Yeah, it's true, we man. We reached out to Domino's to get some clarity on the pepperoni situation. We got our info from their ingredients webpage. However, when we checked with them, they told us that their information was incorrect and they've updated it since to say that BHA and BHT have now been removed from the pepperoni. I think this happened at some point during 2018. Oh. We couldn't say exactly when, but Joe, it sounds like you're okay after all. Yay! Good deal. All right. That's good to know, guys. Company making good changes there, I guess. Here are all the items you can only find on the menu at a UK Domino's. And here are all the things you can only get at a US Domino's. Let's start with the pizza itself. So firstly, it's the crust options. Now, in the UK, we can actually get stuffed crust, but what we've gone for here is the Italian-style crust. Apologies to the country of Italy for this one. <laughs> Now the Italian crust is basically the same dough, but just thinner and that's, therefore a bit that's, more crispy. That's like a Brooklyn. There are a few toppings that you can only get on your pizza in the UK. 
These include some options we've got here, like meatballs, sweet corn, and red onion. Sweet corn? I have never heard of eating sweet corn. I, uh, I like sweet corn, guys. I don't think I'd want that on a pizza, though. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's good. I like pineapple on a pizza, but I don't know, no, 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 not sweet corn. Uh, pineapple bacon is excellent. Pineapple bacon, pineapple pepperoni, pineapple with any salty meat. You add ham, Canadian bacon. Um, but yeah, I don't like meatballs either, really. Um, I'll eat them, but definitely not my thing. Uh, but yeah. But that's not all. You can also get things like Catalan chicken, which is a chicken in a kind of mm. paprika spice. You can get tandoori chicken, which is chicken with some Indian spice blends. And you can also get tuna on your pizza. Whoa, wait, did he say tuna? Tuna? Tuna on a pizza? No. No. No way. No, no. So this right here is a pizza that has everything you can only get at a U.S. Domino's. First of all, the crust. It is our thin Brooklyn-style Brooklyn crust. Yeah. Instead of tomato sauce, we did an Alfredo white sauce. Uh, we got banana peppers on here, salami, feta cheese, uh, and also Parmesan and cheddar. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of banana peppers. I just, it's like, eh. It's like vinegary, mm, not a fan. Um, salami, eh, it's okay. I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't get it on pizza though. Alfredo, I mean, it's not the worst thing, but definitely not a huge fan, especially not on pizza. This should be known as the US only. Like Pizza Hut should have this on the menu and you go, give me the US only, and this is the pizza they give you. Yuck. Yeah, I agree. Don't get this. No. No. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, I, I would hate that too. <laughs> Grab a slice, see what you think. So here are some UK sides that you won't find on the menu at a US Domino's. First of all, we've got the garlic cheesy bread, chicken kickers. Wait, the garlic cheesy bread looks like a small pizza. That is so interesting. Our, our garlic cheesy bread looks completely different than that. That is so weird to me, because it's like, I'm so used to, you know, you get used to seeing what you see, and then you see something completely different, you're like, that looks nothing like what I would expect the word to describe, like garlic cheesy bread. That that looks like a cheese pizza. Wow, dude, that's so interesting. It's so interesting how one chain can be so different from country to country. Chicken kickers, which are just like nuggets with a spicy coating. Ah, I used to love those. They got rid of those in America. We no longer have those. We used to have chicken kickers and they were the spicy nuggets. So I'm guessing they were the same thing. I really did like those. Recently, they've added these poppin' chicken bites to the menu, which mm. are kind of similar to KFC's popcorn chicken. Mm. You can also get chicken strippers, which is just kind of like chicken tenders. Potato wedges, if you wanted some kind of potato option to go mm. with the pizza. I think we used to have that. And then you can also get a tub of coleslaw. You have coleslaw at Domino's. If I'm not mistaken, I don't even think I don't even think I saw coleslaw on the menu at the UK KFC. I mean, I think some people in the comments were saying, yeah, they had it now in their local one, but as a whole, when they when I reacted to that video, they didn't have coleslaw, I don't think, in the KFC. I may be mistaken on that, but I'm 99 percent sure I'm remembering correctly on that. But you have it at Domino's. That's so crazy. I've never that 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 is some that's something I would have never expected. Coleslaw at a pizza place. I I can't even imagine, uh, but it just must be the way we eat coleslaw different. Like, it must be the way that people in the U.S. versus people in the U.K., how they use their coleslaw as a side to what items, you know what I mean? Like, generally speaking, coleslaw in the U.S. is mainly used on the side of fried chicken or barbecue. That would be the main two things that you would use coleslaw on the side of. I can't really think of much of anything else. Uh, well, no, fried fish. Fried fish, that would be the other thing. But I can't really think of anything else, really, that you would eat coleslaw as a side on. And I definitely couldn't ever imagine doing that on the side of pizza. Does anybody actually do that? Like, light coleslaw as a side to go with pizza? Never heard of it. I don't think we have garlic cheesy bread, but we do have this, which is like a stuffed cheese bread. Also yeah, that, yeah, that's a stuffed cheesy bread. It's, it's gar That's garlic cheesy bread. It's just stuffed garlic cheesy bread. Uh, that's what it is. And basically you pull apart these slices and it's filled with cheese. It's got cheese on the top. It's actually pretty good. Dip it in some marinara. Uh, definitely something I don't eat very often, but uh, yeah, I do enjoy it from time to time. 
still decide they have these uh, chicken pieces. And then these right over here, these Parmesan cheese kind of bread knots. Also, I think it's pretty cool, is Domino's will hook you up with a side of grated Parmesan. That's pretty nice. Chicken carbonara, which is a uh, mm. pasta dish, what looks like, obviously, chicken. Well, I think they have more than this one dish. I think they have, like, four of these. Uh, they're different. There's chicken carbonara. There's, uh, there's uh, what is it? It's uh, bacon ranch alfredo. Bacon ranch marinara. I don't know. It's some. I can't remember. I don't really get them. I just recognize them from there. Uh, bits of bacon, onion. In the U.S., sandwiches. Domino's offers a lot of different varieties of sandwiches. Um, I just picked one. I got. Do they have the chicken bacon ranch? Yeah, chicken bacon ranch is actually really good. The Philly cheesesteak is actually really good. The chicken parm sandwich. Chicken Let's take parm. a look at that right there. Look at that chicken parm. How good does that look? Classic garden salad. We found mm. something green on the menu, which is nice. Um, what do we got here? Tomatoes, onions, cheese, lettuce. Croutons. <sighs> Who cares? <laughs> now the default dipping sauce that will come with your pizzas is this garlic and herb dip in the UK. But there are also a couple of sauces which are exclusive to the UK. These include a little pop of Frank's red hot sauce, and we can also get a honey mustard. All right guys, I gotta admit, I don't think I would be liking those sauces. Uh, red hot, definitely get out of that, <laughs> take that. Um, the honey mustard, That'd be okay if you were dipping some chicken. I wouldn't dip my pizza in that'd be weird. I could pot, I'd try this right here, the garlic. That wouldn't be bad. That'd be okay with pizza. But like, where's the marinara? I hope you guys have marinara. I can't imagine you don't have marinara as a side. Like, I I literally get marinara as a side every time I eat pizza. Uh, that's what I dip everything in, basically. Um, my wife, she does get like a garlic butter some, on occasion. She likes that, but uh, I... I, I Eh, it's okay, but I know it's the the garlic butter. If you looked at the ingredient, my goodness, it's probably just oh man, just trans fat like crazy, just horrible, horrible. Probably the one in the UK is probably much cleaner, but uh, yeah. Anyway, the Domino's in the US has their own exclusive sauces. Uh, this kicker hot sauce, mm -hmm. um, the sweet mango habanero sauce. Mm -hmm. This one is really good. You can get rid of that too. Uh, ranch. Yep. You guys don't have ranch? Absolutely, oh, take did. it. Guess not. Give Blue me some cheese dressing. Nope. Mm -hmm. And of course, marinara sauce. Yeah. And finally, if you're someone with a sweet tooth, Domino's has the some ranch. exclusive dessert items. To Ice cream. Care. Firstly, we've got Domino's cookies, which are actually like really good, especially if you get them when they're warm and they kind of stay warm. Those do actually the look boxes. good, man. And then you can also get a range of Ben and Jerry's flavors from Domino's in the UK. They're like a licensed vendor, which is cool. And for dessert in the US, you can get either these Lava marbled cakes. cookie brownies or lava cakes. these chocolate lava crunch cakes. Uh, they also threw in this, icing. the sweet icing. I'm sure it's amazing. So you can pour more sugar all over the sugar. You need to cut this open. If you cut this open, it'll be this, this uh, gooey chocolate comes out of it like, well, like a lava cake. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Let's put some icing on the lava guy. Oh, 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 man, that's too much, that's man. That's too much. Stop. Uh, I, gotta get, I, gotta, I gotta get this. I'm gonna, like, eat this whole tray. I gotta get this out of my face. I'm ready to de destroy these brownies. <laughs> oh, man, um, wow. This was a little bit different than the other ones I looked at as... The portion sizes weren't quite as surprising to me. I mean, obviously the extra large was a little bit, you know, quite a, quite a bit bigger than the large in the UK, obviously. I mean, that would make sense that the extra large would be bigger. Um, but the ingredient list, can't say it's surprising. I saw the other ones, but, you know, still disappointing. I'm, I'm just disappointed that every time I see these videos, I almost know now that the ingredient list is just going to be so much worse in the U.S., I don't know what the reason for that is. It's just our, it's just, we don't have regulations on that stuff. It's just like our politicians on both sides of the aisle just won't, won't look after the American people. They probably line their pockets with the lobbyists from these food companies. Uh, and they don't know, they don't get regulated because of that. And it's just, it's, it's sad. It's disgusting. We shouldn't have to deal with that. We really, no one around the world should have to be concerned that if they go to, I don't know, go to anywhere to eat that they have to deal with, Stuff like BHA and BHT, supposedly which have now taken out of Domino's. If so, I applaud them. You know, that's amazing. Good job on improving things. 
uh, without being forced to, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, I think the thing that stuck out to me the most was kind of the differences in the food stuff. Like, like I've never seen coleslaw on a menu at a pizza place. That's so weird to me. I mean, I guess to people in the UK, I guess you guys are used to that, so it's not weird to you, but I still can't imagine eating it as a side. It's just just the taste of coleslaw with pizza it just doesn't seem like something that would really go together. Maybe it does. I don't know. I guess I'll try it. You know, why not? But, um, you know, just some of the other ingredients, the sauces and the sides, the differences. Like, do you guys even have marinara? I mean, like, I can't imagine going to any pizza place and not get marinara. I go like if I go to any pizza place, I always get marinara, not just Domino's. I'm talking about like if I go to like. We got local mom and pops, you know, local pizzeria, which I really enjoy going to. That's generally where we'll go if we uh, go get pizza. Granted, it's the next town over, so it's, you know, you know, like I don't know, 25 miles away. So it's not somewhere we can just go for lunch all the time. But, um, you know, that, you know, even when I go there, I always get dip and marinara or sometimes we get a buffet and I'll get a cup of marinara. And uh, man, I always like dip my pizza in marinara. Uh, my wife and I both with pizza. We don't do no dry sauce pizza, like dry pizza. You got to have a lot of sauce, man. Uh, my mom's like that too. I think my sister's not, but anyway, but, uh, yeah, you got to have a lot of pizza sauce with your pizza. It's none of this, none of this just cheese with dough stuff. None of this, like just a very thin layer sauce. No, man, sauce to me is what makes a pizza. If the sauce isn't good, it doesn't matter what, how the cheese tastes or the toppings or the dough if the sauce isn't good, the pizza's not good. If the sauce is good, generally the pizza will be good no matter what. Um, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others you think I might enjoy checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me in my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys. Peace.